just passed through Rio Hondo, Texas. We're on Texas Route 106 heading east. We're on our way to Adolph Tomei Junior County Park. There's supposed to be some nice RV camping there right along a, I believe it's a canal. affordable RV camping there. We're going to be hanging left onto uh, looks like Farm to Market Road 1847. We're in about two miles. I'll chime back in as we're approaching the county park. Looks like we're going to hang a right on the Marshall Hunts Road. And sure enough, there's the sign to Adolph. Turn right onto Marshall Hunts Road. To May Junior County Park. Assuming I have the pronunciation right, but I'll find out when I get to the park. Continue on Marshall Hutts Road for five miles. Okay, it appears this is the entrance to the county park. We've just arrived at the Adolph Tomei Jr. County Park here in South Texas. Let's go check it out. Melody and I had heard how scenic this county park is, especially the uh, RV camping sites. And uh, wow, look at this. Glad we came to go check it out. There are full hookup sites. Supposed to have 30, 50 amp service. Yep, 30, 50 amp electric service. There's the sewer hookup. Wow, look at this. This county park, or this water, goes down into a wildlife, man, uh, wildlife management area, national wildlife management area. Melody and I are gonna go check that out when we leave here, but this is uh, where, where I'm standing now is the county park. What a view from your campsite. Look at this. There are two separate fishing piers. On the way up here, we passed no less than five fish bait places. So fishing's popular along the stretch of the water. Here's a look back at the campsite. Any size rig can fit in there. You have water at the side as well. So, uh, check some of these sites out. That's site number two. Right next to it we have site uh, number three. Looks like you can get any size rig in that side as well.
sure can't beat the view from your RV. There's a fishing pier over there. Let's go check it out. I just stopped put my lavalier mic on because uh, the wind kicked up. This is the uh, first picnic area and fishing pier. We're going to go out on the fishing pier in a moment. But um, those are flush toilet restrooms with showers. Really nice county park. Affordable too. I'll go over the pricing with you toward the end of the video, but look at this. Let's go check the fishing pier out. Wow, this has got to be some of the best waterfront camping in Texas. There's some pretty big uh, birds of prey flying around. I don't know whether they were large hawks or whether it was eagle. I had a white head. Beautiful. Hello. You'd like the water, Milo? Tell you, they tool along in the in the boats here. Melody and Milo's out on the dock. So I was uh, interested in the history behind this county park. It says in 1988, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, Cameron County Park System, and the Texas Parks and Wildlife formed a partnership to provide fishing and boating facilities along the Aereo, Colorado, within the Laguna Atacasa National Wildlife Refuge. The Cameron County Park System leases this property from the refuge and manages its public facilities. This unique arrangement provides visitors with some of the best fishing, boating, and wildlife watching opportunities in South Texas. I have to agree there. Here's the nature trail off to the right. Uh, I'm gonna go to the left and show you some more of these RV sites. Site number 10 is vacant. Let's go check it out. No overhead clearance problems with this site. Any size rig can get in here. There's your soar right there where the block of wood is. And, uh, yep, just to verify, 30, 50 amp electric connection. Oh, it's like somebody's got some lights set up over there by the water. Let's look back at the campsite. You do have water at the campsite as well. It's full hookup. These are some nice campsites along the water here. that first fishing pier off to the left there. There's some folks fishing up here. And this is another look back at campsite number 10, RV site number 10, full hookup, right on the water. What a view. Going down in the book. And there's campsite 11. And going up this way, these sites are not on the water. Going up 
this way. I'll see what else we have going up this way. That's the way I just came from. Um, campsite 13 looks like it'd have an overhead um, clearance issue with that tree limb right there. That's site 13. Site 14, you're good to go on site 14. It's not up against the water. But um, it is a good campsite. You can get your rig leveled there. Any size rig really could fit in there. And uh, no overhead clearance issues. As you work your way down the loop, that's site 18 there. 19. All these are a lot more shallow. than the previous sites. You could probably get a big rig in the, that site right there. What is that? That's gonna be site 20. I wouldn't say any of these sites in here would be, quote, preferable. I usually only show you campsites that I would wanna camp in. So let's go up the road here see if we have any other sites by the water because if I came out here I would definitely want to be by the water. It looks like the nature trail picks back up and then we have more RV camping on the water so let's check these sites out. Here's the start of the that's site 26 where the reflection is. And uh, you got some pretty big fifth wheels in here. It's like 27, where the winds low is. They all have a good view of the water, waterfront sites. Montana, it's like 28. like that site gets a little bit muddy. Couldn't make out a site number. The truck's in front of it. This one here where the north point is, is, is the north point is, is site number 30. And here's a vacant site, site number 31. So as far as the overhead clearance goes, if you stayed off toward where the electric post is there off to the left, you shouldn't have overhead clearance problems. So any size rig could fit in that site. And it is full hookup. It's gonna be site number 31. Final look back at site 31. Site number 34, you had a uh, big rig with uh, uh, where you need height clearance. I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend that site. But if you have a smaller rig where you don't need the height clearance, um, site 34, it's got some privacy there. Okay, so it looks like I'm approaching the second uh, picnic area with uh, restrooms. And we also have a fishing pier. Very nice facilities here at the county park. There's the 
picnic area and the fishing pier. So up above the second fishing pier, let's go check that out and see if there are any more RV camping sites. And uh, outside of the RV camping area, it does say no overnight camping. They do have a tent uh, area though. I haven't run into that yet, but uh, I'm on the lookout for it. The vegetation is lush here within the county park. Yeah, really peaceful. Here's a observation tower. Here's a little side trail. Takes us down to the raw water. Off to the right, there should be some boat ramps. We'll see if we can see them. It is a pretty long park. Extending the length of the the water here. Now it looks like those boat ramps are clear up there. You can see a, a dock. Oh, somebody just caught a, well, no. I guess that was bait. Guy's fishing there. a footnote I wanted to let you know that uh, this body of water not too far um, east of here enters the intercoastal waterway on the other side of the intercoastal waterway is South Padre Island in Texas so I've walked through all the sites and uh, one of the top sites here is site 32 that's dead ahead no overhead clearance problem get any size rig in there beautiful water view site 32 going down in the book and for the Adolf Tomei Jr. County Park here in South Texas the number one site I would recommend is site number 26. Full hookup. 50 30 amp. You get a nice water view. Campsite's got a lot of character. Site 26 going down the book. I did find the tent camping area. This is the tent camping area. Off to the right there, you see like a little picnic table, but there, there are no numbered sites. There's a flat area um, where you can tent camp, but if you look at the map of the park, which I'll show you in a minute, that's where the tent camping area is. There's no numbered sites there. Making my way back up to where my vehicle's parked. This is the rear of some of the campsites. I was kind of judicious of what sites I showed you. Um, you can see some of the sites have a lot of tree branch obstacles. I did not show you many of those sites. Let me take you down here and I'll show you the map. Okay, well here's the map of the Adolph Tomei Junior County Park here in South Texas. And right now I'm by picnic area number one. And that is the fishing pier. 
here's the picnic area in the restroom and uh, I had just shown you this uh, tent dry camping area that's just beyond the uh, picnic area number one and I showed you these RV sites that were up in here and also back uh, against where the interior of the park is away from the water coyote flats rv spaces a11 through 25 but the most of the sites i recommended were up in here And uh, this was the observation tower that I took you to right there. Gee, the wind is uh, something else today. What I want to show you is uh, the, there was a town for resupply uh, right before we got here, Rio Hondo, Texas. That's uh, a major point of resupply, but right outside of the park here are a number of stores that cater to uh, fishing and uh, there were a few like convenience stores but uh, just about anything you need will be down in Rio Hondo the town of Rio Hondo it is affordable RV camping it's it's uh, let's see thirty dollars a night for full hookup that's 30 50 amp water sewer they do have weekly and monthly rates I thought the tent camping was high so I won't spend any time on that but for $30 a night with a uh, fantastic water view uh, not bad today I came in on a day use fee paid $10 take you out here I'll give you my final thoughts you just can't beat the view out here on the fishing pier and I think I'm gonna leave it here I'll have the upload and download speeds for Verizon AT&T and T-Mobile in the written video description on YouTube I'll also have the grid coordinates for this county park in the written video description as well if you like these videos like and subscribe and I'll see you down the road.